Uh, thank you very much. And to welcome Minister Heather Humphreys here and to acknowledge, Minister, the work that's been done with the Department of Social Protection over the last 12 months. Um, you know, the budget that was brought through, you know, really wanted to focus and really want support I suppose, people who are struggling, because this was a cost of living budget. It was for people who were struggling, people who were vulnerable. And I really just want to acknowledge the supports in particular for people over 70 and the living alone allowance. Um, you know, it's very important that the fuel allowance is there. It's an additional 33 euro per week, or again, it can be in two lump sum payments, you know, from October until April. And it's crucial that we acknowledge that the expansion of this scheme come January is going to bring so many more people into the, the net that are going to be supported through the fuel allowance scheme. Um, it's crucial that we acknowledge that those people, for example, you know, a single person over 70 living on their own could have 500 euro coming in. You know, potentially they have a pension if they worked in the UK, maybe they have the pension here, or it's a couple and they could have a thousand euro coming in. And you know, the first 20,000, of course, disregarded is an income disregard. Um, I do believe that every little bit helps, and of course, like another famous ad, but every little bit does help um, because, you know, people are trying to make every euro go further. And it is the people that we are trying to help the most are the ones that have given so much during their lives and now are afraid to maybe turn the heating on. And Minister, you've stood up and through this budget, you have made sure that those people are very aware that they will have support from this government um, in the time ahead. Um, I really also want to acknowledge that the, um, the, the supports that you put in place and the lump sum payments are the way that the government have looked to make sure that the payments will benefit people immediately, that those immediate payments came right into their accounts. They're seeing it through the literacy credits that we're seeing, through the lump sum payments here with living alone, the disability payment, the double payments that we've seen with child, uh, child, child payments as well. I mean, it's just... I think families have been grateful to see this coming, into it, coming to them over the last number of months. Uh, Minister, I suppose the challenge we might have, as always, when we do these, when we do these initiatives, is around uh, the supports we have from an administrative side of things in managing these additional applications. Potentially, say, for example, like with the fuel allowance, I understand that will be an online application form, and I suppose perhaps the department and officials may be providing uh, sort of information <laughs> and maybe information for community groups, for active retirement groups, around how to access this funding and the ways that they'll be able to apply for this. Um, Minister, I know that in some of the, the information that you provide us, provided us with as well, that you're extending the Jobs Plus scheme. Um, again, I think this is, this is really important. In the area that I'm in, the schemes already that we have, like the Community Employment Scheme, um, are ways really that people can re-engage um, in community work there are so many volunteers, like in my own area in Banaslow, across Ross Common, you see so many people that get involved with local community groups and give time. And we talk about the essence of volunteering being part of what makes small towns really great. But the challenge we have is that we do need uh, these sort of community employment schemes and payments and jobs plus to really encourage and bring more people back into the workforce and back into contributing to their communities and also giving an awful lot of people that I'm aware of that interest in potentially doing further education. And this is a way to do that. It's a way to really connect people with all of the supports that we have within our towns. Uh, Minister, I suppose, you know, the, the year ahead is going to be a difficult year. Like we know that there are going to still be a lot of challenges in the months ahead for us. I suppose with your department and with your officials, it will be around supporting people who are the most vulnerable. And again, I suppose that it is very, very welcome what we have seen. You know, and I suppose just that hand on heart, I suppose the feedback that I've been receiving from talking with people in my own region and in my own area is that this is extremely welcome. And I suppose just to thank your department, your officials, and I suppose just for bringing this forward, these initiatives, because they're new, they're innovative, and they've answered a real need. Gurmila Magath.